Hello, and welcome back to another episode recap where I'll lay out five things that I learned from my conversation with a historical expert. Today, we'll talk about the movie and TV series, Downton Abbey. Now, if you're a regular listener of the audio version of the Based on a True Story podcast, you might have seen the episode hit your feed where I had the Countess of Carnarvon on the podcast to talk about the historical accuracy of the movie and series. Lady Carnarvon, of course, lives in the very real High Clare Castle that serves as the filming location and the basis of the fictional Downton Abbey. Well, if you haven't had time to listen to my interview with Lady Carnarvon yet, well, that's why I'm here, to recap the five things I learned about Downton Abbey from Lady Carnarvon. So let's get started. Number one, the real people at High Clear. In both the TV series and the movie, the people living at Downton Abbey are the Crawley family. If you recall, the TV series starts right after the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. Well, as I mentioned in the introduction, the real place where Downton Abbey was filmed is actually called High Clear Castle. And while the Crawley family in the TV series and the movie are fictional, if High Clear is a real place, then who was living there during the timeline of the series and the movie? Lady Carnarvon told me that the people living at High Clear around the early 20th century were the fifth Earl and Countess of Carnarvon. Her name was Almina, and as an heiress, her dowry consisted of about 40 to 50 million in today's dollars. Lady Carnarvon also told me that Almina's husband worked with Howard Carter, the renowned Egyptologist who became world famous when he discovered the tomb of King Tut. Number two, Mr. Bates. As I was reading Lady Carnarvon's book in preparation for our chat, I couldn't help but notice a mention of someone named Bates. And if you're a fan of Downton Abbey, if you've read Lady Carnarvon's book, then you probably know that Mr. Bates was one of the main characters, and maybe you noticed that mention as well. So I couldn't help but uh, ask her about that. While I was chatting with her, she said that she couldn't resist mentioning Bates in her book because she came across him in her research on the history of Highclere. So, it's not really that the character of Mr. Bates from the TV series was based on someone named Bates in High Clear's real history. Instead, it's more of a coincidence that a fictional character in Mr. Bates just happens to have the same name as a real person. Number three, a royal visit. The primary plot of the Downton Abbey movie centers around a visit from the king and queen. Lady Carnarvon told me that it is true that there have been royal visits to the real High Clare Castle. For example, she told me about one in 1895, so a little different than the timeline for the movie. Although, unlike what we see happen near Downton in the movie, Lady Carnarvon clarified that there was never an attempt on the life of royalty near High Clare. Number four, the royal staff. Another aspect of the royal visit we see in the movie has to do with how the visit itself is preceded by their staff arriving at Downton, all the royal staff who take over Downton Abbey. And as you can expect in the movie, this starts to add some drama between the staff at Downton who want the honor of serving their king and queen and the royal staff. Lady Carnarvon clarified that in truth, the royal visits, they didn't come with their staff taking over the house. As she said, the royal family will come with their lady's maid or valet, but as guests of the house, that means the staff of the house take great pride in being the ones to do their best, making the royal visit work. Number five, plane crashes. This is not in the movie at all, but during my chat with Lady Carnarvon, she told me about a B-17 bomber that crashed into the hill behind High Clear Castle just three days before the end of World War II. Sadly, the Americans on board that plane perished in the crash. But it wasn't the only plane that had crashed on the estate grounds during the war. Lady Carnarvon mentioned finding two British twin-engine DH-98 Mosquitoes, a British Lizzie, that's the nickname for a Westland Lysander airplane, an American Lockheed P-38 Lightning, and at least one more. That's all for today, and hopefully you've enjoyed this episode recap of five things that I learned from Lady Carnarvon about Downton Abbey. 
Now, if you want to hear my full interview with Lady Carnarvon, you can hear that over at basedonatruestorypodcast.com slash 150. Once again, that's basedonatruestorypodcast.com slash 150. And don't forget, if you want to learn even more about the real history behind High Clear and what life was like during the early 20th century, check out Lady Carnarvon's books all about the real Downton Abbey. Oh, and she also mentioned that she's working on a new book that's expected to come out this year. So be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, for more recaps and full-length episodes of Based on a True Story, hit that subscribe button right now. Thanks for watching.